is the best driving road in the world. Uh, now, it's unlikely to be here because uh, everyone does five. It's not going to be here because everyone's on drugs. We did discuss this at length, probably somewhere in continental Europe, the Alps. A quest began. I've chosen this, the new Porsche 911 GT3 RS. The ultimate F-Plan supercar is what I've brought along. It's a Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. Got myself a proper gentleman's racer. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage N24. That is just a racing car. You have got standard road cars dressed with the tinsel of fake high performance. So you've got no radio? No. You've got no carpet? No. No air conditioning? No. Has it got no air conditioning? Yes, it has got air conditioning. Have you got air conditioning? Oh, yeah. Uh, fan is off, fuel reset, pumps are reset, neutral, engine start. Yes. Oh, God. Eventually, James caught us up. We found something called the Cold Torini. This looked like the ideal place to unleash our cars a little bit. for driving heaven. I was loving my Lamborghini. Metallic rattle, like it's belting my elbow on something really, really hard. Oh, shut up! Richard and I were now so far ahead of Captain Slow, we decided to pull over. It stands to reason the fewer parts you have on your Porsche, the more it's... Here he comes. Oh, testicles. That is unbelievably good. I don't like your car, do you? No, the car's excellent. You know you've made a mistake, don't you? No, it's fantastic. I've got to do something to get the seat higher up. I'm like an 85-year-old man. There might be a problem. What? Fuel filler cap won't open. Never mind. See you in Italy. No. <laughs> Once we'd regrouped, we joined the motorway along the Italian Riviera. Oh, dear. Is this your second fill-up? Mine's got a 110-litre endurance fuel tank. Little compromise might be useful in your car. Be honest. I love it. What's that? I've bought a cushion. Are you admitting that it's uncomfortable? No, no. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no. Hold on. So much nicer. My four buttons. The Aston Martin seems to be very, very slow. Didn't expect that in the racing car. I'd booked the hotel. Jeremy, I always wanted to stay in the Italian lakes. We're staying here tonight. Yeah, because these will have been stolen, obviously. You know, my car doesn't have a key or a lock. Did they save weight by not fitting locks to it? <laughs> hotel fiasco the night before had put the chaps in quite a bad mood. Why did you think this would be good, you big daft Essentially, he's brought us up somebody's driveway. I suggested we try the other side of the lake, which meant catching a ferry. Eventually, we arrived at the other side. And that's really getting hot. Oh, no. Hang on a minute, bloke, something's not quite right. What's the matter? It's broken. I don't know. Has it got fuel in it? Yeah, yeah, it's got loads of fuel. Master switch, ignition, pump, pump. That's off. Very, very fast. At least it's light. Jeremy, we're keeping everybody on the, on the boat now. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. sorry. Is that, that is the correct position, because that's on and the panel is on. The ignition is down. I've got everything else on. The fuel... We were heading north to where I'd wanted to go in the first place, Switzerland. This is the San Bernardino Pass. The views, the smoothness of the road surface, the elegance of the road itself. Meanwhile, in the Aston... Oh, oh. The only thing I know about Liechtenstein is they make more false teeth here than anywhere else in the world. Do we try each other's cars for this bit? Why don't we try each other's cars? No, I really like this one, mate. So Richard and I decided to vandalise James's Aston. Sounds like a racing driver's name. 
mile after mile of deserted perfection. I wonder how much more of this I have to endure before I can admit that this is a terrible car and that I hate it and I want to go home. We found a cherry for the top of our cake. The Stelvio Pass. 15 miles of asphalt spaghetti draped on an hour. There's no other way of saying that this is a magnificent piece of road building. I hate to admit this, but this Aston is starting to make a certain amount of good sense. Look, if I had no air conditioning, I'd look ridiculous now. Davos to Stelvio, the greatest driving road in the world.